Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. Happy Valentine's Day by the way. Before we start today's video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the content here on my channel around Lost Ark. This is a great game, this is an amazing community, and I just want to say to everyone, thank you for welcoming me to your community. I cannot wait to produce more content for you guys in the future. So, with all that being said, let's hop into the video. Hey, welcome back. Good to see you. You haven't clicked away from the video yet, and that's pretty good. So, in this video, there are a few settings I want to go over, but there is a very impactful one which we'll uncover first, just to make sure you guys see it here in the video. So, this setting, while it may seem good on the surface, is actually not that good. So, you hit escape, go down to the cogwheel, then go to your gameplay, and then controls and display. You'll want to go down to the combat settings section. Now, hover over cursor aim. I'll go ahead and read this off to you guys. When the cursor is positioned on top of a foe target, your attack direction will be corrected towards the target. Now this sounds pretty good, and I will admittedly say that in PvE it really doesn't make a gosh darn difference about how this ability is going to auto aim for you, but in PvP it does make a huge difference because most of the time you need to be leading your shots, not shooting where the enemy is at, but you need to be shooting in their predicted path. So. Let me show you guys what this looks like on and off. Okay, so this first example is with the cursor aim feature on. Pay very close attention to where my cursor is located compared to where the skill is being directed. Did you guys see that? So right here, I'm going to click. You saw the lightning bolt go back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip back so you guys can see it in slow motion. Okay, and now we're going to do an example with cursor aim disabled. Go ahead and summon a bunch of creatures here. Run in circle, get about the same position that was before. Now watch my cursor compared to where the skill is aiming this time. Hold it down, and the direction does not change whatsoever. Now, what benefits and disadvantages is this? In PvE, Dungeons Raids, it's really not that big a deal, right? But in PvP, it is very, very important because in high tense situation moments, you need to be able to predict where your opponent is going to go. Now, with the Lightning Bolt, it's very generous. You have a very generous cone, but there are spells that have a very, very fine-tuned area that it's going to hit. And for spells like that, you need to be very, very accurate. And nine times out of 10, you're not going to want to aim where your opponent is. You want to aim where they're going to be unless they're stun locked. So when it comes to ranking this tip on how good it is, well, in PV, it's kind of like a quality of life issue, but in PVP, it can mean the difference between winning a match and throwing a match. Okay, so the next setting I want to talk to you guys about is abusing your field of view. Now in Dungeons and Raids, this isn't really a big issue because everything you need to see is on your screen anyway, but in PvP, this is an absolute game changer of how you're going to win a match. Quite frankly, if you are not playing on this forced aspect ratio, you're at a huge disadvantage. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So on the left side of my screen here, you see Frank, we're just gonna call him Frank. You see how his shoulder is barely on the edge here. Now watch what happens when we go into our settings, go to video, and then we go down, or excuse me, we go down to right here on screen resolution settings. Force 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Now this is ultra wide. Click enable, hit apply. Now look, our game's looking kind of weird, but look how much extra area you have compared to what you had before. Not only do you have, right here's where the screen ended, right? Now you have like 25% more field of view, and this is on both sides, mind you. It's not just on left side, but it's also on the right side as well. This really doesn't give you much more view up and down. But when you're in arenas and PvP, this is essential to abuse if you want to catch your opponents off guard. Now there's one more setting I want to show you guys. Go into your controls and display. Go all the way down to show combat pet. Now right here, battle effects display. If you're a newer player and you don't know what's going on in arenas, this really isn't applicable to PvE unless you want it to be, but it helps clear some of the clutter on your screen because quite frankly this game gets pretty chaotic with all the animations and spell castings and things you gotta watch out for. It, it gets kind of overwhelming, especially in PvP. When I first started doing arenas in this game, 
I didn't know whose spells was whose. I didn't know if I cast a lightning vortex. I didn't know if that was my lightning vortex or the opponent's lightning vortex. And I would walk into it like a moron. So to fix that, go into your battle effects display. This actually has a lot of different effects. You have it for all targets, which I highly suggest disabling because quite frankly, it's overwhelming, even for me. There's included raid members, included party members, include buffs and debuffs of party members. But the one I would really focus on, especially for arenas, is display foes only. Now, if you have a bard or whatever on your team that casts Rhapsody a lot, I don't think you're going to see that AoE to stand in it. But it's, you know, it's pretty obvious, right? She's going to sit there and channel it. But this allows you to keep track and limit the amount of information you have to process during a fight. One simple misstep in arena can get you a full combo from 100 to 0 really, really quick. So it's very important for you to limit the amount of information coming into you just so you can make a better judgment on you know what's going on. You need to have a fast reaction time in Rias, a really fast reaction time, and it sucks my old man hands just cannot keep up with it that time. Well, that about does it for today's video, guys. Hopefully this is helpful. I try to keep it short and sweet and to the point. If you found any information at all in this video helpful, I would really appreciate a like and sub. And even if you didn't like the video, sub anyway. You know, you can always unsub. It's free. It's been Horcrux. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.